Good morning, everybody. No, wait. Good afternoon, everybody. Um, it's a gorgeous, beautiful, amazing, sunshiny Tuesday afternoon. And I am Woofer Walker Jezebel of the Woofer Walkers Doggy Services here in Richmond, British Columbia. And this is my Tuesday afternoon woofer walk. And these are the woofers that I'm walking. This is little Max, Max Bouchon, he's a doodle. And this is Raylan Pazlowski. She's from Mexico originally. And up here, we've got some more woofers. Who do we got? We got two Weimaraners. See those gray ones? Those are called Weimaraners in Germany. Oh, <laughs> we'll give her some privacy. Um, the little Weimaraner is Shade and the bigger one is Luna, and they're sisters from different misters. And then that black and white guy, that's Zeke. And nobody really knows for sure what Zeke is, but I think he's got Border Collie in him. And that little cream puff next to him, that's Charlie. They're both last name Newton, and they are brothers from different mothers. When I say sisters from different misters and brothers from different mothers, that just means that they are woofers who reside in the same household. <laughs> so this is the gorgeous day we have. It's so nice. Oh, I can hear a helicopter. Come on, Ray. Come on, Raylan. What a gorgeous day. And we're here at the time of day where um, there's barely anybody here. Uh, I think right now it's about, oh, I don't know. Let's let's say one o'clock maybe 12 30 in the afternoon one o'clock pretty dead here at that time of day because all of the other um all of my other woofer walkers and all of the other professional dog walkers and just everybody all the, the regulars that come out in the morning are gone max come on <laughs> slow poke come on little max Max likes to take his time. He's got to smell every blade of grass. And of course, his best friend, Buddy, his best buddy, Buddy, isn't here right now. So he's a little bit, a little bit shyer than usual. Right, Maxie? Come on, Max. Hi, girls. Hey, Luna. Luna, come here. Let's see your beautiful faces. Hi. Hi, Shade. You got to... You gotta take her. Uh, you gotta take her sunlight, sunshine, huh? Is that why they call you shade? You need you need more sunshine. Hi, Ray. Hello, Ray. Butt scratches for baby Ray. We call Raylan baby baby Ray. It's her nickname, baby Ray Ray. Good girl, Ray. Good girl, Ray. Wow. Yeah. Gorgeous. Gorgeous day. It feels like spring. And you know what's interesting is the woofers, hi, they're eating a lot of grass and um, they only usually do that when there's new grass shoots coming. That would be really weird if it was true because we just had like so much snow a couple weeks ago, literally just a, literally like a couple of weeks ago. And now it seems like spring has sprung early. That's pretty darn cool, especially considering we were supposed to have snow last weekend. Oh, yeah. What have we done to our planet, hey? But at least we might be getting spring early, so that's cool. Everybody's just having a nice sort of relaxed woofer walk right now. Oh, here comes Charlie. Don't want to lose us. You don't want to lose us. Good boy, Charlie. Hey, Charlie. There's Maxie. Yeah, I think we're just gonna, gonna just keep this one at a nice mosey, a nice mosey pace until we actually get down to the beach. That's usually where all the dogs start, um, you know, getting a little bit more excited because their favorite part is the beach, of course. This part here on the trail is where they do a lot of stopping and sniffing and checking their p-mail and answering their p-mail if you know what I mean <laughs> if you don't know what I mean checking p-mail is 
smelling where the other dogs have left some mail for you, some pee for you. Then you answer it, you gotta, you gotta leave some pee back. That's what being a woofer is all about. I mean, that's the big highlight of their day. <laughs> Especially Zeke. Zeke is very concerned with pee mail. He doesn't like it if somebody's left pee mail and he hasn't had a chance to answer it. He's very good at answering pee mail. Raylan! Hello, little Maxie. <laughs> You're so cute. Hi! Oh, I just can't get over the weather. I just can't. It's not, I cannot believe that we had all that snow. Mind you, it didn't last very long, but we had so much snow. And now, spring. Early spring. I wonder if it'll be like this for Valentine's Day weekend. That would be nice. That's this weekend coming up, I think. Pretty sure this Valentine's Day weekend is going to be a really mem memorable one for a lot of people because I bet a lot of people have super big plans because Valentine's Day is on Friday night. So, and then you've got the, I think we've got a family day long weekend on Monday. So pretty sure there's going to be a lot of romantic dinners on Friday night uh, followed by a romantic long weekend getaway. I wish that, <laughs> I wish I was part of that, but that's okay. I'm gonna spend my weekend with woofers because that's what I do. Don't get me wrong, I love, I love hanging out with the woofers. It's, it's you know, obviously it's what I love more than anything else in the world. I wouldn't be doing it. Wouldn't be, wouldn't be too bad to get away once in a while though. <laughs> It'd be nice to get away for a weekend. Luna and Shade just kind of look at how they meld in, mesh in with the uh, the scenery. They're camouflaged almost <laughs> with their dusty colors, their earthy tones. little Max. He doesn't quite know what to do with himself. This isn't his regular group, so he's usually on the Munchkin March. <laughs> For those of you that don't know, the Munchkin March. What are you doing in there, Charlie? Huh. What are you doing, Charlie? What are you doing? I see you in there. The Munchkin March is our... Hey! No, 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 no! Come here. Come on. Come on, this way. Where do you think you're going? You're going to the beach without me or something? Come on, come on. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, everybody's here. <laughs> um, the Munchkin March is, a, is a, one of our small breed pack walks. Because we do woofer walks for all sizes and all, te not temperaments, but all like energy levels of woofers. <laughs> you can tell those two are hunting breed, hey? The way they like to go in the forest and smell all the underbrush and they're looking for probably rodents and bunnies and things. Yeah, that's what Weimaraners are made for, actually. That's what they were created for, bred for. Very good at that sort of thing, especially hunting birds. Let go of your sister's collar. Well, I think I'm gonna turn off the camera. This one's getting really long, this video. We'll make one more a little bit later when we actually get to the beach. So you can see them all running around like fools. 